Hey everybody, what is up? What is up? This is Julie here. Guys, I am so excited to be presenting this video to you today. Um, but first, I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet subscribed, guys, come on, smash that subscribe button. Kick the like button on this video and on all of my other videos. That will help my channel become more re recognizable here on YouTube and in Google. Plus, it lets me know whether or not you are liking my videos and whether or not my videos um, are helping you in any kind of way, right? Um, and I only know that if I get likes, okay? It ain't gonna take you but a few seconds to do that. Guys, guys, I'm taking my time out to make these videos for you. The least you could do is kick that like button, right? Really, I'm being real with you. I'm being real and raw with you, right? Only takes a few uh, seconds, not even a, you know, a few seconds, just a split second uh, to tap that like button, okay? So do it. I'm making these videos for you. Show me that you're appreciating them, okay? Um, hey, and don't forget, ring that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new content. Guys, let me tell you, I have been working on these crosswords um, for some time now, okay? Because I've, I've just been really busy and they are here, okay? They are here. At least one book is, right? Um, so I really, I want to tell you about the versatility of these books and that's what you're really going to love about it, especially you instructors. You're going to love how versatile uh, these crosswords are, okay? But before I do that, I just wanna talk to you about the properties of the book so it gives you a good idea of how durable my books are, all right? So this is like, this is the instructor book, all right? Um, both books, the instructor and the student book, I've crafted in the same manner, okay? Nothing's different. Um, you can see it has a defined spine, Okay, defined spine here. And the book is put together with archival quality binding glue, right? Meaning that the pages are not going to yellow. Okay, they're not going to yellow for years to come. The book is very durable, is very flexible. The pages are flexible. You can bend them um, over just like I'm doing right now, right? Um, and look, you still keep that defined spine, right? Stability of the pages, guys, look at this, okay? The stability of the pages are phenomenal. Um, let me get a one sheet here, okay? And you, you can hear and see how I am tugging on this page and it is staying put. It is not going anywhere, okay? So the book is very durable. The front and the back cover um, is made from uh, the 110 pound cardstock, which I think equates to the 0 0.3 uh, millimeter um, cardstock. Um, so it's not too hard, uh, it's not too soft, it's just right, just like Baby Bear, right? My chair is just right, right? But it's just right, um, so it gives you that flexibility with um, you know both the front and back covers, okay? These, uh, my books are very, very durable and they are a very good quality. Yes, they are. Um, the pages are actually uh, 22 weight uh, copy paper. So again, very sturdy, all right? Very sturdy. So now let me talk to you about the versatility of these um, of my crossword books. And I'm gonna I'm start with the student book, okay? So with the student book, you know, you're gonna have the uh, table of contents, right? So your instructor can tell you which page to go to, the uh, crosswords are, or the pages are numbered, okay? Um, the only thing is, is that the student book does not have the answer key. Okay, does not have the answer key. And the reason I did not put the answer key in the student workbook um, is because, well, I'll tell you about that later. Well, no, I'll go ahead and tell you now, right? Um, I want instructors to be able to use 
these crosswords as a gauging tool, right? To determine how much you, the student, um, you know, how much knowledge you're gaining from, uh, you know, the lecture, um, PowerPoints or information and also with the hands-on skills, okay? So that's why I didn't put the answer key in y'all's book, okay? Um, so I'm hoping that these will be used in the classroom, right? Um, so you have, um, I think it's a total of 27 crosswords. Um, you also, in the book, you will get uh, student study tips um, throughout the book. Okay, and also at the end, okay? So why do students love it so much? Um, again, you know, who, you know, crosswords, who does not love crosswords, right? Crosswords are really fun. You know, you may have a couple of folks out there that says, ah, nah, I don't like doing crosswords, right? But for the most part, um, most folks do love doing crosswords. Um, these crosswords will help you to gain a better knowledge of um, the training information. It will also help you gain a better understanding. Plus, you can use this as a learning gauging tool for yourself to determine how much you truly, how much you sincerely know and understand versus what you don't know and understand, right? You can actually gauge your strengths and your weaknesses with this book and plus students you are going to have so much fun doing them okay it's not going to seem like work right it is not going to seem like work now for you the instructor guys let me tell you this book is so versatile for you you are going to love the versatility of my crossword book one um as with the students using this as a gauging tool for their learning you can use this as a gauging tool to evaluate or assess your students' learning progress, right? For individual sections of each individual module, right? You can learn, use this to gauge how much they truly understand manual skills and what those steps are requiring them to do, okay? So you can use it as a gauging tool. You can use these crosswords as homework assignments, classwork assignments. You can either use them as graded or ungraded assignments. You can use these as filler assignments. Now, what I call filler assignments are, you know, assignments or activities that you give the student to do, let's say, um, as they're fouling in, right? And they're coming into the classroom, they're uh, signing in, they're getting settled into their seat seats. Once they get settled into their seats, um, you can have them to do, start on these crosswords, right? While you are taking attendance, right? Because you always have about five to 10 minutes of downtime uh, just before the start of the training day, right? So this will actually keep your students minds working it will it will kick in that thinking factor for them and they are going to stay productive most importantly they are going to stay productive with the training information right so they're not going to be uh, getting on their phones while you're uh, taking attendance they are going to be concentrating on completing these crosswords okay and their mind their minds are going to be on the training material um, or like if you give an exam and as students complete the exams um, you can have this as they're turning their exams in you can have this on your desk or wherever you know you want to place it and when they turn their exam in they can pick up a crossword go back to their seat seats staying quiet and working on the crosswords right continued productivity in the training okay with the training information plus you know, the, your class is going to stay quiet. Um, so for those students who are still taking the test exam or quiz, um, you know, they won't be distracted with chatter. Okay, sidebar chatter. So also, guys, speaking of test exams and quizzes, you can use these as such. You definitely can. And let me tell you, I actually compared a general formatted quiz okay that's with your 
uh, you know, your uh, multiple choice or your fill in the blanks or your true and false or your um, short answer questions. I actually compared the grades, okay? Compared the grades. Now, they, and when I compared the grades, keep in mind that um, the tests that they took were, was, you know, maybe months back, okay? When the information of whatever lecture topic I was lecturing on was still fresh in their mind. My students right now are in clinical, okay? So their mind is on reality, what's happening in reality. But when I compared their grades from the general uh, formatted quizzes or tests, and then I compared their grades with what they made um, in on the quizzes, it was an average between seven to 12 points higher that they scored, okay? Are y'all feeling me, right? Okay, you're feeling me, right? So they're getting more from having a quote unquote quiz, test, or exam in crossword format than they are with, you know, than what they would be actually be getting in a general, um, you know, layout exam, right? Um, so very, very versatile, very versatile. Um, and a lot of times I don't tell my students that, you know, this is a quiz, you know, or is going down in grade book as a quiz grade. Um, I do let them know that it is going to be graded, but I like to call them crossword assessments. Okay, crossword assessments, because we're assessing, they're assessing their knowledge and their understanding, and we're using it as a, 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 a gauging tool, so we as instructors can also assess and evaluate their knowledge and understanding of the information, right? Okay, so guys, I'm telling you, you are going to love these, you are. Now, when it comes to the cost, because I know that's what's on y'all's mind, right? How much is it going to cost? I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's what I have to figure out. But once I figure it out, um, I will definitely be activating these on my Etsy storefront. The address I'm going to leave in the description of this video. Um, it is www.etsy.com slash shop slash c n a quest that's q u e s t okay so once i figure out the uh the pricing um i will definitely put them on my etsy storefront again the student book the student book will not uh come with the answer keys okay but you will have the crosswords you will have several student tips in here now, what does the instructor book come with? The instructor book comes with everything that's in the student book, plus you will have, I think about, I put like 10 instructor, nurse aid instructor tips in here for you, okay? So you're gonna get uh, some instructor tips also. Um, and then back in appendix A is where you will have your answer keys uh, for the crossword puzzles, okay? So you're getting everything instruct in the instructor book manual, you're getting everything that is contained in the student book, plus you're getting the nurse aid instructor tips and you are getting the answer keys, okay? So if you are a student, Okay, and you're already, you've already completed your training, meaning you're not partic actively participating in the training. Maybe you're just waiting um, on your test date. Um, you should purchase the instructor manual, okay? So you'll have the answer keys to check your answers, okay? Um, if you are an instructor, um, you can just purchase the instructor book. And like I said, these pages are very, flexible, um, you can actually make, and you see how I'm, I'm actually, um, you know, smoothing out the fold, right? Um, and it's, it's going to keep its shape, but you can actually make copies, individual copies, instead of, you know, spending money uh, to buy the individual student books. But 
If you are, see it kept its spine, right? Beautiful spine. I'm so proud of myself. I am. I'm so proud of myself making these books. But if you're like me, I don't like loose papers, right? Loose papers, get, they get lost. Um, they get all crumpled up, right? Um, and plus, you know, it just takes up a lot of space, right? Um, so I, you know, if you're, if you're like me and you don't like the loose papers, you can purchase uh, the um, student book um, individually. Um, or again, like I said, if you want to save a little bit of money, you can, you know, these pages are flexible. You can actually lay these down on a Xerox and copy, um, you know, individual um, sheets, individual crosswords for your students, okay, if you want to do it that way. I just don't like loose paper, okay, I don't. I don't like loose paper. So um, next year, um, you know, I, I will have the booklets ready for my students. This year, like I said, I just started the project, so I was handing them the individual um, crosswords. You know, my students this year will not be receiving the book, but next year, um, I'm giving it to them in book form, okay? Um, so that is it, guys. Um, man, I tell you, I'm just super excited. So right now, I have the manual skills, okay? The manual skills crossword book for uh, both the student and the instructor manual, okay? Uh, that contains the answer keys. Um, I am working on the theory crossword books, you know, the information that you disseminate to your students during lecture, okay? So I am working on that one. As soon as I complete that one, I'm going to um, also um, put them on my Etsy storefront. I'm keeping them separate. I'm not making like one big fat um, crossword book. I'm keeping them separate to give you the opportunity, um, you know, whether or not, you know, you feel like, if you feel like your students could benefit from uh, the manual skills, you can purchase this, you know, manual skills and not have to worry about a bulky um, book or vice versa. If you feel like your students uh, could benefit from the theory uh, crosswords, you know, you can buy that individual, okay? So that is it, guys. Um, I'm going to try to work out the pricing here and get, uh, you know, the manual skills crossword book um, out on my Etsy storefront. Um, either today or is definitely going to be this weekend sometime. Also, I've been getting several emails regarding the CNA Quest game. Um, my CNA Quest game, I'm still fine tuning it, um, but hopefully within the next week or two, um, I will also reactivate that on my Etsy storefront for purchase, okay? Because um, I tell you, my kids enjoyed, they had a ball playing that game. They really did. So guys, I'm gonna get ready to end this uh, video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please, please kick the like button. You know what? Even if you didn't enjoy it, right? But you got something out of it, right? Kick the like button. Like I said, I am spending a lot of time, a lot of energy, um, making these videos for you. And that is the least you could do. Yes. This is coming from the bougie instructor. Yes. That's the least you could do is kick that like button. And Hey, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And you know, if you want to be notified whenever I do upload new content, go ahead and ring that notification bell. So you will be notified. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Ciao.